Much tonight at 11, a woman tells us she and another concerned citizen helped lead the police to an alleged child predator teaching at a Christian school in Fishers. Our Chase Howell talked to her about this case and what she sees on dating apps decoying as a 13 year old girl. Each message Sammy Jo scrolls past on her phone is a different man that thinks he's talking to a 13 year old girl, but is really her. They'll either block us and go away or they continue. And sadly enough, more times than not, they continue. They don't stop. One of her most recent captures, as she calls it, involves a teacher at Fisher's Christian Academy. Sammy Joe says the messaging didn't last long before he started talking sexually explicit with her teenage decoy. Kept saying, I just want, I want to hook up. I want to hook up. And a teenager knows what hook up means. And so she's asking, what do you mean you want to hook up? Are you mean, are you mean sex? Do you, are you saying hook up like sex? And he says, yeah, sex. I want to have sex with you. I'll come and get you and we'll have sex. The teacher facing several different charges for allegedly admitting to having a relationship with one of his female students for over a year. But Sammy Joe says, sadly, this isn't the first person in a school setting. She's come across preying on who they think is a young child. Some of them, they've had allegations on them before and the school they were at would just fire them and do nothing. So they go to another school. Sammy Joe, a mother herself, understands as a parent, you can't be everywhere at once, but there are steps they can take to make sure their child is safe from people trying to prey on them. Check your child's device, check their phones, check their video games. When they're on their video games, don't let them wear those headsets. Make them take them headsets off so you can hear who they're talking to and what they're saying. Reporting in Fishers, Chase Howell, 13 News. The Hamilton County Prosecutor's Office will make the final decision on any criminal charges against that teacher in Fishers.